What is art? So art is a form of expression, art and attitude, or art can just be plain artistry. Well, it depends on who you're asking. I'm Sam Daddy and we're here today at Commune 3.0. We'll talk to some of Nigeria's youngest, busiest artists and find out what truly makes their art so artistic. This is New Central Television. I'm Sam Daddy. Let's get right into it. Hi guys, my name is Mo. I'm a rug fiber artist and I transform yarn into rugs. This is one of my art pieces. It's called Seasons. It shows the duality of life and I basically talk about the good and bad of the world. This piece actually took me about two weeks to make and it's one of my first pieces. It's a debut piece. This is um, a Gualasho. So basically, I'm a painter, but I wanted to express I wanted to bring the art to life. So I thought, oh, what way could I go about it? So I decided to create a mannequin and make a masquerade, my own masquerade. And that is the end. So if you look at it from the front of you, that is replacing the head because most of these artifacts are abroad. So the title of the series is Lost Heritage. That is why the uh, mannequin is headless. So it is stolen. This work is titled She Explained. It's like a very long story, but I just want to tell you that listen to the voice inside of you, listen to your chi. This is basically the depiction of my life force within me. The creator, um, my Lord, my God, and the difficult birth I had to go through. Um, my mom and I almost losing our lives but I'm here today as a special child as a special person with my special art so enjoy it. How long did this take? Uh, five hours straight five yeah five hours straight. Okay so what part did you take in this? Um, yo bro <laughs> you know how graffiti goes now so basically we split it but we met up at some point so we just took some different places this is my side that's Quillo's side and then we did the top we did the back you know just yeah it vibes i need to know whose car is this whose car who let you do this yo we just say a fan yeah a fan so tell us about some of your art this is one behind us right uh well i mean it changes but these are some pieces from my um from my artworks um these pieces were, some of these pieces here were speaking about me and some were just related to like um, people in whole, you understand? Like this piece in particular was just related to like fragile masculinity and everything. I chose this digital painting because so most times I feel, I find it as a medium that I can use to express myself easily and sometimes I could get ideas and the way, the best way for me to portray it is, is using digital means, you know. So that's how it is. And, um, for my creative process, um, once I get inspiration, I sometimes make a sketch on paper. So once I make my sketch on paper, I scan that to my iPad and make use of projects to do my paintings. Now what's your obsession with the eye? Tell us why. Um, it's not like an obsession. It's more like what inspires my art. It's, it's, it's like if you look around, you see most of my art have like an eye as the as the as the face of what I just painted or whatever figure I'm painting. So for me, it's like self awareness, like self consciousness. Whatever you're doing, I feel like there's always a point where you realize that there is there is something else outside what we've been doing. I have um, several pieces on display here. They are from a personal series called Growth. I'm highlighting the growth stages of a butterfly and how it applies to me as a human being and as an artist. Yeah, so this particular piece is an illustration of a full-blown butterfly, right? And what inspired this was basically, you know, what it takes to become the higher version of yourself. I'm from the south region of Nigeria, a five-month state to be precise. And this, my painting here is titled Akan, which means first son in my dialect. Um, most of us in Nigeria, we know this name as um, probably a gate man it's like the name is always depicted in movies as maybe a gate man or somebody very silly but it actually means 
um, person in my dialect, which is a very, very important position in the family. Now, we can all agree that art is a language, and this one definitely speaks. Right today, we spoke to some of the phenomenal artists exhibiting here at Commune 3.0, and I must say, art is unique, art is exceptional, and young people are definitely not lazy. My name is Sam Dandy, and we just had an absolute blast. Peace out.